Well, good day, shoppers. Welcome back to your two-week Princess Auto Sale Flyer, May 24th to June 5th of 2022. All right. Ooh, look. An ultrasonic cleaner. That's kind of like the one I've got. Mine, uh, the actual uh, heater thing in the thing burnt out or something burnt out. It still works as a cleaner, but it doesn't heat the stuff anymore. So I just use hot water. But anyways, 98 bucks. that's not too bad. Save 71 Wow, that's actually a pretty good price. That's the actual price of it. I don't <clears throat> I don't know anything about this Grip brand, but who knows. Wow, they actually are selling these things. Wow, 10 and a half foot. Where? Really? That's a lot of space to take up for these things unless they're standing them straight up. But man, those, those things are pretty big. 10 and a half foot long. Holy cow. I would not have balance for that. I would be in the water before I knew it. <laughs> Anyways, that's just me. So, parts brake cleaner again is on sale. That's a nice sale. Nice RV cord. I actually picked one of those up um, four or five sales ago maybe now. It's been a wee while. I've had it for when we go camping. and We got a spot where we go where uh, we... Uh, run our power into a building there and we ha can't park super close to the building so I had one of those and I got another one actually I didn't end up using it this year when we went camping so anyway it's good to have a spare though and these would also make probably good uh, well what's it say 30 amp uh, doesn't say what size of wire <coughs> that's in these things they're probably fairly beefy but they'd be good for like a, a welding cable or something like that too or if you wanted to run a a cable will say you have to change the ends, cut the ends, and redo them. But if you wanted to run um, a cable, say from a generator into like a my my thing, for instance, like I've got a cable, something like this, for running from my generator to the uh, plug on the house to run the generator panel downstairs when the power goes out. So that's always handy. But anyways, microfiber cleaning cloths. Oh boy, they seem to have this grip stuff a little bit in here now. It's interesting. Get a grip, right? Get a grip. Now, that's interesting here. I think it's 225.75.15 for my uh, travel trailer. I noticed when we had it out there a weekend past there. Uh, one of them was fairly weather checked and some cracks on the sides and in the tread and eh, didn't really like that a whole lot it didn't blow or nothing on me it was still fine but I'm like mm, probably something I should be looking at sooner than later for the 40 kilometers it gets every year <laughs> but um, a few of the years we had it I didn't put those white covers when it's parked on the tires and I think I should have and now I'm kind of paying for that. So, But anyways, they're probably still fine, but it's just like, mm, do you take the chance of running with that? I don't know. Some ads, of course. Looks like a fairly beefy flyer today. Holy ads. Is there any flyer in these ads? There we go. Some surplus. Wow, 12,000 BTU window air conditioner. $319.99. Well, that's not too bad if you got the right size window. That's a good size window. It cools up to 350 square feet. I would probably cut that down to maybe 300, to be perfectly honest. You'll feel cool maybe on a space that size, but it's not going to be cold feeling, you know. Um, you know, maybe feel a little more comfortable than it would have before. But uh, uh, yeah, these things are not as usually as great as they say. You end up putting one in front of every room. <laughs> but anyways. Well, we got some straps. Oh, a bike lock thing. Combination chain lock. Cool. Jeep Grand Cherokee windshield wiper motor. No kidding. Windshield washer pump. Hey, that would be pretty handy for uh, different different things. Although it's got a weird plug there. but Durable construction. Camaro ride leveling sensor. Where are they getting all this weird stuff from, I wonder? That's interesting. Surplus. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a cooler. I thought it was another uh, ultrasonic thing. That's ah, just a cooler. Cool thing about signs now. Oh, man. Hand compression support. 
some surplusy stuff here. What the heck are these? Ice mold kits. Okay, then. Different shapes, I guess. Different stuff here. I'm not going to really list everything off here. You can check. Or there's a antenna for TV stuff. Free HD stuff. That's all right. Dog tie-out cables. Some LED things. Trowels. Nice. These are handy little guys if you're doing some little concrete work and stuff. wonder what the heck this was. Big landscape fabric tube thing. Well, that's kind of cool there, but it has a cord on it. <laughs> Four and three quarter multi-cut multi electric circular saw. Huh. That would have been really cool if it was battery operated. But anyways, 70 bucks. Yeah, everything's all battery nowadays, right? Everything's battery. Gosh, I remember these things when I was a kid. Collapsible, and you'd fill them up, and they'd actually work pretty good, you know? You'd think that it wouldn't be too strong when you got a big bag of water, but they actually did work pretty good. Probably had those, uh, oh, what did the plastics have way back then? PCCs or whatever the heck it was. I can't remember. P not PCB, but PC something. P something, anyways. Probably had that all crap in it, too. That's probably why I'm so sick now. But huh, I'm not really sick, sick. So it's probably not good for you, these things. But uh, anyways, P something. What the heck were they that the old plastics had? I can't remember now. Anyways, 99 cents for a... Plastic spray nozzle. Wow. Bet you'd use that once and throw it out. <laughs> Potentially, eh? Oh, well. Spark plug boot puller. Just grab it with your fingers. If it zaps you, you know you got spark. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> More surplus stuff. Wow, look at the size of that fly swatter. Telescoping, too. Wow. You could probably smack more than once. It's one of them there. Little bit of surplus stuff. Trailer hitches. Oh, that's kind of neat. Big ball mount. Mega Smasher. What on earth is that? Oh, portable RV waste holding tank. Hmm. With accessories. That's all right. Well, now, if you got to drop down something this much, your vehicle's too tall. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Some of them I've seen is even more than this. They drop down and it's like, wait. I'm like, really? You drop that like four feet down just to tow your trailer level? That's not really a towing vehicle anymore, I'm sorry to say. But anyways. Oh, that's cool. Two-piece, three-step leveling ramps. That's for your RV. So, you know, one side's lower. You drive up on this one or you drive up to the next one. Or you drive up to the next one. Well, that's kind of cool. Trailer bed mat. There you go. There's a whole weight distribution hitch there. Two ninety nine. That's pretty cheap. I don't know if I like these ones though, because it looks like you got to drop the pin in from the top through all this stuff and then put that there. I like the ones where they kind of lock in. Mine, they kind of come up from underneath and they lock in that way. And you got to pull a clip to let them drop out again. I kind of like my my one a little better than those ones. Trailer axles and. All the paraphernalia for adding different hangers and stuff. Oh, there we go. That's what I need. One of them. Wow. $79. I don't know if I'd want to buy one, though. That's $79. I mean, really. This one's a little better. $199. And it actually does more weight, too. 4,000 pounds versus 2,500. But, anyways. More trailer stuff, some tires. Ooh, more tires. Okay, so we're going to see. No, they don't have any more tires for trailer tires. Just like those kind. The one I need for my travel trailer is a little bit bigger than that. Don't see it. Now, I do actually have one spare. Spare tire for that trailer. That's right. Guess I could swap that one if I had to. I, I don't know. I didn't uh, 
check the other ones out super close, but this one really caught my eye because it was all split and cracked down the tread. I'm like, oh, man. That's not good. But anyways, more trailer stuff. Well, they really got some trailer stuff this week. Look at this. I like this. This is kind of like the... Way something, I think mine's called. Um, way safe way or way safe or something it's called. The uh, hitch I got like this, but now they've got them here for 119 That's way cheaper than what I bought for. Holy smokes. But anyways. Seem to be going to these aluminum a lot. And aluminum's strong, but you got to watch aluminum too. You could overload this and then snap that thing off. You know, aluminum does bend. They say aluminum is about the same density as gold. You know, dents and could break, and once it's bent, that's just junk. Then you cannot bend aluminum back. So put her in the scrap. Still want to get one of these things. I think that would be something handy to have. Hmm. Now some of the eight inch to sixteen. Now, for instance, uh, my son Dylan's motorcycle rear tire needs changed. I don't think it would fit over this thing here would have to be a lot skinnier rod so I don't know if it would work for that but it would be nice to have something for that thing too but anyways there's a motorcycle ramp system holder carrier thing that's pretty cool some boats yeah this stuff here I've got these for my trailer now so it keeps the sun off them right from rotting them out stupid sun is rotting everything out the sun is so strong now oh man 2022 catalog is available Wow, look at that fella, right? Do, 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 do. Major pair, major power there. Like, in other words, 2,000 foot-pounds of torque and free speeds up to 5,000 RPM. Wow. Now, that little electric Milwaukee half-inch I got, it claims it's got 1,400 pounds rip-off torque. So, I mean, holy smokes, that's not far off of that thing, if it's accurate. There's another needle scaler, nut driver set. Air compressing things and tools, of course. Blow guns. Shears and electric shear. Paint spray system. Hey, that's pretty cool, too. Long nose. I wonder what the point of the longer barrel is. Maybe it hits better or something. I don't know. Paint sprayers. Impact Guns, Ingersoll Rand. No kidding. I have an Ingersoll Rand. Yes, I do. Exactly pretty much like that one, but I paid a lot more net for it. <laughs> I'm holding it in my hand right now. It doesn't say on there what model this one is, though. This one I've got is a uh, 2135Ti. It's a pretty good gun. I've had it for a lot of years. Never give me any problems. I've never oiled it either. <laughs> so that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, sounds about right. Interesting. There's some spade bits and d drill drive bit set. Nice. Air hoses and really things. Oh, really? Really, really hoses. Some drilly bits, more impacts, like $30 for that. Oh, man, that thing would be a piece of garbage. That's so bad. So bad that it doesn't even have a name on it. <laughs> There's so, wow. I presume it's Power Fist because this blue kind of looks the same as that blue, but I don't know. Whole reciprocating saw blades, filters and dryers, gravity fees, abrasive race sandblast. So I still got that one I made out of a 40 pound, 40 pound, 30 pound propane tank. It actually works pretty good. Vehicle dollies and some code readers. Lots of code readers. Wow. Battery chargers and cables, booster cables. Oh, that's kind of cool. That thing just barely fits on there, I'd say. But anyways, it's on there. And transmission jacks. Never used one of these before. I'm kind of glad of that because I know transmissions do kind of suck bringing them in and out. Lots of jacks. I should actually replace one of mine. It still works, but the little mechanism that you, you, know, you twist the handle to let it down, it 
kind of skips on the little gears. It's just not meshed together real nice. It was cheap Chinese, one of these, probably. Yeah, well, actually, it was from Princess Auto from years ago. It still works, but sometimes it's a real pain in the butt to get her to, to release again when you got something heavy on it. But Anywho, I'd like to get one of those low-profile ones like this. 18 and a half inch to 19 inch to 20 and 70 so with this thing on, I guess. Nice. Oh, that's cool. Motorcycle lift. Hmm. Well, I'll be. I got one sort of like that. There we go. Two ton extra low profile floor jack. Well, it only goes up 15 and a half inches. Oh, it's not really very much. You need to get them longer and then it would lift up higher. Shorter would lift up shorter. Still want one of these. <laughs> I really want one of those, but I got nowhere to put it. You need that on a cement floor with big cement things underneath, right, to hold it. Because you wouldn't want a vehicle tilting that thing and, f you know, flipping this thing over. That would really suck. Well, we got some miscellaneous tools, gantry crane there. What the heck is that? Engine cradle. Okay, gotcha. Engine stand. Got some of those myself too. They're pretty good. Fluid film. That's actually a little bit better price. It's 18, 19 bucks a can now here for that stuff. It's pretty good stuff, but holy smokes. Expensive. Cleaning supplies of stuff. Varsol. Acetone. Oh, there's their spray foam kit again. Trying to see if it's closed cell stuff. Doesn't really say, I imagine it is, but hmm. quickly fills gaps. Penetration dries in less than one minute. Well, there's some lubrication stuff and conditioning stuff for your diesel fuel. Some more of the same, different bottle. Still pretty cheap. Regular to eight bucks, I guess. Sea foam. Look at all the sea foam products now. Wow, we even some spray stuff. Nice. I never tried any of that before. And WD-40s really got a lot of junk now too, don't they? White lithium penetrating, rust release penetrating, water resistant silicone, and dry lube. I don't understand that dry lube stuff. It's kind of weird, but anyways. Oh, what's that other stuff? Um, graphite. Graphite stuff. Man, that stuff's weird. It goes on wet, and all of a sudden it's like dry. And it's like it's like someone just, you know, colored a whole bunch of pencil lead onto it. <laughs> it's weird stuff. Kind of actually made more of a mess. They said, oh, use that graphite lube on your uh, locks for your truck cap. And actually made it worse. It was a heck of a job to get that cleaned out of there again. Oh, snake oil. Marvel snake oil. Produce fuel economy extension in life. Not likely. <laughs> There's all your quick welds, JB weld stuff, marine weld. That stuff's good. Clear level plastic bonder. I've used that before. Um, something I think that looks familiar too. Steel stick. I've used that. Works pretty good. Pretty uh, weird chemicals that they've mixed up there for that kind of stuff. But anyways, it works. Some pumps and some more pumps. Collapsible rain barrel. 200 liter. That's kind of cool. Ah, I needed some of this too. Marine water hose. Marine water hose. I wonder if that's any different than the uh, RV hose. I don't really think so, but need to get a couple more of them. Fire pits and swinging fire pits or something. <laughs> oh, it's a grill. I got you. A tripod grill. There you go. There's a thing you jam in and you flip this around, cook your stuff, and then flip it away. Ah, right, that's kind of cool. 50 bucks for a four and a half foot steel windmill. I know years ago, boy, that's horrible saying that, years ago, I bought two of these, not like this, it was 
they were kind of John Deere colors, but they weren't really John Deere. About that high. And I put one together and put it outside for a while. It lasted probably five or six years, and it kind of stopped spinning, and then it just kind of all went crappy. So I scrapped it, and I think I still got one somewhere, hidden away somewhere um, in a box still. <laughs> I didn't ever put it together, the other one. So, Well, there's some garden bed stuff. That's neat. Hmm. wheelbarrow things and oh that's kind of neat actually that's expensive for that covers up to 17,000 square feet what no 1700 maybe square feet take off that zero 1700 17,000 that's like bigger than my yard and the neighbor's yard probably put together it's not gonna spray that far with maximum of 70 PSI, I highly doubt that. That's definitely not right. Or it might even be maybe 7,000 square feet. I, I That's not going to do 17. Good luck with that. 17,000 square feet is like baseball diamond sized. <laughs> if not a bit bigger, it's not going to spray that far. Here's hoping anyways. Oh, there's some nice lawn care equipment. What do we got here? Sweeper. Spiker. Tow behind spreader aerator. Hey, now, I kind of like that idea. I've always looked for something that I could tow behind that would just kind of trickle a bit of grass seed out after I've cut it, you know. That would be pretty darn handy. I'd like something that would actually just mount on the three-point hitch, so not really tow behind, but interesting. I'll watch this video after here, maybe. So a sweeper and then a little uh, drag harrow. Looks like a plugger aerator. 48 inch. And a lawn roller and a spiker does kind of the same thing as an aerator. This lets a bit of oxygen into the ground. It kind of helps things a bit down with the root systems. Crappy dump carts. Uh, big fans. Ooh, big fans. Industrial ceiling fans. Wow. Racer inflatable stand-up paddleboard. Inflatable, really. Ooh, I don't know one to trust that, I don't think. There's a little nice little house there if you're sitting on the beach. Nice. Little cot, so you could have a nap on the beach. <laughs> Fishing magnet kit. Hey, there you go. That's kind of neat. Oh, there's got heaters on sale. 80,000 BTU, wow. Boat covers, boat engine covers, boat seats, all boat stuff here. Nice. There's some miscellaneous hand tools. We'll just kind of skip through this. I actually have a kit like this, I believe. Yes, I do. It's in one of my toolboxes somewhere. It's got this one here. I saw the Y thing. I don't know what it was for. I never used it, but that's kind of cool. Some clamps and some pry bars. Screwdrivers. Nice. Magnetic trays. A big axe. Metal punch kit. There you go. Pipe threader. Thread insert. That's cool. Chain uh, cable come along thing, cable puller. Circuit tester, nice. Huh. I got a big set of these too, except the handles are red. They're pretty good. Diamond sharpening stone, nice. Paint brushes, some rare earth magnets, just magnets. Oh, not too rare then. Some casters, well, this is a big flyer. We've still got a long way to go here yet. Magnetic sweeps. Ooh, I got one of these kits too. These are pretty cool. Eclipse. And O ring kits. I got one of them. I don't have this copper washer kit though. Roll pin kit. I have one of them. One of those kits. Uh, chain stuff. Shackles. Oh, these are those um, trolley things that, you know, for your doors. 
you'd attach your door onto here and then it would roll across the, the rail, this rail stuff. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Sliding door track, 600 pounds. Neat. Some extension cords. Aluminum ceiling tape. This stuff is wicked sticky. Really good stuff. It's got another layer underneath this stuff for uh, you have to peel off, but wicked sticky. Mosquito tick and pesky fly <laughs> repellent. 30% DEET. Woo! That's pretty high stuff. If that, uh, if that don't shave your hair off for you, I don't think anything would. My goodness, 30%. Wow, we. I thought at one time they'd actually uh, banned us using DEET in uh, Canada here. But I guess not now. A little wooden chicken coops. That's cool. Chicken run coop. <laughs> Some big tarps, electric fence zapping things, and wire, of course, for that, and all the insulators and stuff. Oh, the fuel stuff. I can't get over the price of this. This is on sale, too, for the for gauge. Wow. And fuel hoses. Nice spraying stuff. Backpack spray and stuff. Worktop bench, knee pad thingies, glasses, of course. Those are looking pretty good. Even a little tinted, those ones. Ooh, that's kind of neat. 4,000 lumen work light. Toolboxes. Looks like they would all one, two, three on the top. That's pretty cheap. Wow, that's really cheap. Wonder if they're really cheap though. Probably really cheap. <laughs> Shelving stuff and some cabinet, some storage cabinet bins. Very nice. Ooh, wow. 3D printer, flash point software, one filament slide in built in platform, quiet 50 decibel operation. Color touchscreen. Wow, look at the price for the filaments too. Now, mind you, there's probably a lot on them, but depending on what you're doing, it might burn up quite a bit. Hmm. Aluminum and copper colored. Look at the price more of that. Holy cow, it's like twice the price. Wow. I always wanted to get one of these, but just, nah. I don't know. What, what would I do with it, really? It'd be pretty cool to try it out, and, and then what? <laughs> Dust collecting stuff. What do I miss up here? Anything? No, not really anything good, good. Some 25-foot trim seals. Interesting. I see. Oh, there's a nice little crane. Very nice. Vehicle gauges, fuel gauges and stuff there. Ramps, another crane. Some work light seats. Ooh, I need one of these for my lawnmower, maybe. Racing seat. Winch cables with hooks. Hey, that's cool. I guess you could probably replace your cable in your winch if you had one for well, 100 foot. It's fairly long, but... Very nice. There's a winch there. Speaking of winches. Oh, what's that? That's like a gas powered rope. Now, what the heck? You would have to tie this, I guess, to something else. It's not like you're going to hold on to this handle and be able to drag it up there, right? Interesting. That's pretty cool. $1,000. 1100 bucks. Woo. Very cool. Some more winchy cable thingies. Some uh, snatch blocks. Uh, 8,000 pound ratchet tie down strap. Nice. That's 8,000 pound. That seems kind of high. 2 inch for a 2 inch strap. Hmm. I guess. Oh, cement mixtures. Jackhammers. Some points and chisels to replace the ones you just broke. <laughs> Whoops. 
crappier looking rototiller, but I guess it's probably pretty good. Never tried one, so I can't really say. Oh, that's cool. Twin brush push sweeper. Huh. There's what we need. Just ten times the scale for the garden. <laughs> so that's what we need. Oh, boy. And I guess all the good stuff must fall down here into the bag. I don't know why I'd want that, but okay. And pressure washing stuff, of course. It's going to zip through that because it's pretty much the same every week. Oh, that's kind of cool. Post pounder. Hmm. A little dump cart thing. That's cool, too. Some engines. Power washing utensil thingies. Some hydraulic stuff. There's not much hydraulic stuff. A little bit. Not much. Oh, there's some more. That's a neat little power pack thing. There's a little spot welder again, and some welding stuff, and some presses. Plasma cutter, welder, multi-purpose welder, MIG TIG welding. Arc, MIG, and TIG. That's pretty cool. Ah, oh, horrible abrasive chop saw. Blech. Flux core welder, little wee guy. The bottle. I don't know what you do with these when they're empty. I guess you could take them somewhere and refill them. I don't know. Wouldn't take long to empty those little bottles, or like oxygen especially. Well, there's some sanding things and grinding machines. Bending machines. There you go. That's the better saw. Dry metal cut saw. $50 for the blade, too. Wow. Well, I guess that's it for our two-week sale flyer. It's just the same guy over and over here. There you go. Oh, these are the old flyers. May 27th. April 27th. Well, there we go. Well, that's your two-week Prince Auto Sale Flyer, May 24th to June 5th of 2022. So that's it for today. I didn't really see anything in there I really needed, um, so I probably won't be going down to the sale. Or Well, it's actually today, <laughs> right on the day of it today. So, But uh, I didn't really see anything I needed there. So, But anyways, that's it for today. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all later, and you guys have a good day. Happy shopping.